further ado, please welcome to the stage Andy Thorne and his high country holiday. So many banjos up here, I don't know where to put them all. <laughs> yes, we are high country holiday. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So good to be at E-Town. Hope you guys enjoyed the dinner, if you got to make that. We're gonna get festive here, put you guys in the Christmas spirit, as well as some other holidays. I got to make a holiday album this year, which was so much fun. I started making it in March. So it's been Christmas all year at my house. I gotta say, when you called us to add tracks to it, it was July. Yes. Yeah. So it was the weirdest shit to be recording Christmas tunes in July, just like sweating in the studio. At least in March, it's still snowy and cold outside, yeah. so it felt right, but... Yeah, this will be fun. We're gonna do a few tunes from the album, so let's kick it off with the song that Joy had to play on. Naturally. Joy to the world. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, now we're feeling festive. That one was fun on the um, we got Ali Crawl playing violin on that one on there. But I think Andy Reiner will do over here on the violin. He's dressed as uh, Sleepy from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs tonight. He's got a wide array of holiday hats he'll be going through for the evening. We'll see more of what his hats can do throughout the night. I make a lot of videos on my hillside. Maybe you guys have seen a few of them. I really enjoy doing that and thank you guys for watching. But I always, throughout the years, I've done Christmas carols, and that's what inspired this whole Christmas album this year. And it's been really, really fun. I was just down in Mexico, and a lot of people there. Yeah. Who was stuck in the airport with me on Sunday? Michelle, you were probably some other people. Yeah, six hours in the Cancun airport with some two-year-olds is not that fun, but we got home last night. And uh, so our rehearsal did not happen, and we're winging it. It's better this way. Well, I really love the minor Christmas carols, so here's one of my favorites. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel.
band that sounds good with all these strings. It's a real treat to have Dr. Joy Adams on the cello. I do, I do have a doctorate, but I checked it's the most useless one. You're using it right I have a doctorate in the cello. When there's that emergency on the plane, they're like, is there a doctor? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> technically. <laughs> Someday you might have to step up. <laughs> you want stitches from me? Nobody wants stitches from me. <laughs> Better than any of us, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, this guy back here on the bass, I asked him to join this show about two days ago, so. <laughs> he did real good learning some of this material. Taylor Shuck from the Fretliners. Oh, we forgot to give you a vocal mic, so you don't get to make any jokes tonight, sorry. He's really funny too, dang. <laughs> Well, the album is all instrumental, but we're going to sing a few too, don't worry. This one I uh, wrote a couple years ago when I was getting ready for my first Christmas as a dad. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really exciting, but it's also a little bit more challenging than usual. Christmas with a baby, so you'll hear it in the lyrics. It's called Baby's First Christmas. Before the dawn, barely slept a wink. Logs are on the fire, and my mind is on the brink. Baby's first Christmas, baby's first Christmas, baby's first Christmas, baby's first Christmas. Cut a tree down from the yard. Put it up inside Hasn't knocked it down just yet But the baby sure has tried It's baby's first Christmas Baby's first Christmas Baby's first Christmas Baby's first Christmas The lights are glowing on the tree The baby has so many needs but that's okay, cause we got wine I think it's time to sit and dine with you For a second or two On baby's first Christmas Everybody! Baby's first Christmas Baby's first Christmas Baby's first Christmas Play one, Sleepy!
sits in the baby's mouth. It's baby's first Christmas. It's baby's first Christmas. It's baby's first Christmas. Baby's first Christmas. Yeah, we've been cooking up a storm. The wind will end up on the floor. But dad will go and clean it up. Well, mom enjoys another cup of wine. Oh, the wine, wine. On baby's first Christmas. Baby's first Christmas. Baby's first Christmas. Baby's first Christmas. Take one, Tyler. lyrics are about a baby, but those could easily be about our cats. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was trying to get out the door for a gig, and I just turned around for a second, and out of the corner of my eye, I see Capo, our little black cat, take a leap at the Christmas tree at the top, and the entire tree just like came down with him. I was, like, oh. I was late to my gig. That'll get your attention. <laughs> Kitty's first Christmas. Kitty's first Christmas. <laughs> you guys need to write that song, That's I'm telling right. you. It's the sequel. No, it's really fun to like write a new Christmas song every year. We'll play one from last year in a little bit here. It really is a fun thing to do. This right here we're going to do now is the one original tune on the Christmas album. And it just came to me on one snowy day on the hillside. It's got a little bell-like quality, so called it the Bells of Boulder.
All right, now I'm going to introduce you to this guy on my left right here. One of my best friends ever. We spent how many years touring together? Many years. Ten years, maybe? I don't I know. Forgot. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. We both moved to Colorado at about the same time, around 2008. We were in the Drew Emmett Band, the Emmett Nershi Band, the Grant Farm, uh, some other bands, probably. We've had a lot of fun. We've hiked Long's Peak, camped many nights. Done many a hot spring dip. Oh, yeah. Haven't seen much Tyler lately because he's been out on the river. Not this month, but <laughs> last year, about this time, I was out on the river. Well, oh, thanks. the Grand Canyon, right? Yeah, yeah, indeed. I was under the boat in the Grand Canyon about this time last year, yeah. Ooh. Well, it's a treat to be here. And Andy, congratulations on finally doing a holiday album. Way to go. It would have been much better if Tyler played guitar on it, but I had to play my own guitar, so. Worked out. It's been fun learning the parts. Well, here's a good old Gordon Lightfoot song that is not a Christmas song, but you're going to know it, and feel free to sing along if you like this song. Song for a winter's night. Low upon my tabletop, the snow is softly falling. The air is still in the silence of my room. I hear your voice softly calling. If I could only have you near to breathe a sigh or two, I would be happy just to hold the hands I on this winter's night with you. Smoke is rising in the shadows over here. My glass is almost empty. I read again between the lines upon each page The words of love you sent me If I could know within my heart That you were lonely too I would be happy just to hold the hands I love On this winter's night with you Across my window pane, where webs of snow were drifting. If I could only have you near to breathe a sigh or two, I would be happy just to hold the hands I love on this winter's night with you and to be once again with.
trying to keep it secret? If you guys brought some jingle bells, just you, you, jingle you away. Can jingle them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Andy, you've got another lovely hat on. This one's made in Montana of wolf. Really? Wolf. Yeah. Hat number three. I'm trying to pace myself, man. Still got a while to play here. I know. Don't, I'm, I'm, don't blow your load early. <laughs> I got a hat trick or two. Don't get too ahead of yourself. That's why joy keeps me on a string every day. <laughs> We're married. This, this is made of string. Jingle that thing again. Thank you. Can't tell you how fun it is to play not plugged in. This room sounds so lovely. We got Steve back there on the sound, killing it. I, I can't remember the last time I played a gig not plugged in. It's really a treat. It sounds nice. She sounds like a cello and not like a dying, sad cow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> Feel the same way about a plugged in banjo. <laughs> well, it's night six of Hanukkah. All right. So we're going to play a Hanukkah song for you. And I have, to, I have to sing this for a minute so Andy remembers how no, it goes. I, I'm good. You got it? Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know it very well, but <laughs> we're not going to sing it. Okay, I'll play the lick and then we'll start. Strip it down to a trio here for a moment. We're gonna ditch Andy and Taylor, basically. Get out of here. 
Mostly because we didn't have time to rehearse everyone, but uh. It was kind of like a, if you know this song, you can play the situation. of perfect pitch. If you can throw a banjo into a dumpster without hitting the rim. How do you get a guitar perfectly in tune? Clip five of those six strings. I got more. <laughs> What's the difference between a banjo and an onion? Nobody cries when you cut up a banjo. Oh. That's in poor taste. I actually broke one of Andy's banjos one time, and, and I cried. <laughs> right on stage. Right on stage. Yeah. Like in a show, you broke a banjo? Uh, it was after the show, okay. thank goodness. But we were in South Carolina and broke the headstock clean off of that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. But... Sure. <laughs> But there was a hero, a hero arose out of that tale named David Shepard down there in South Carolina. He fixed it the next day as if it had never happened. And we got back on the road. It was amazing. So yeah, we was stayed up all night and had the banjo there at about 8.30 a.m. That's your, that's your... Fixed it the next day. That's your holiday miracle story for the night. Yeah, yeah this next tune on the album is just a piano and banjo duet with my buddy Eric Deutsch. I don't know if y'all know him. Lived in Boulder for a long time. He's all over the record. What was that? Mexico City. Mexico City. That's why it's hard to get him on a gig here, right? It's hard to fly somebody from Mexico City for one gig, but we miss that guy. He's all over the album. We're going to try it with guitar, banjo, and cello. Never been done before. <laughs> Have yourself a merry little Christmas.
Real purdy. Real purdy. All right, now it's just me and Tyler up here, just like the old days. been having a lot of fun making some album some solo albums lately and these days it's so easy to put out music without a label it's it's been really neat to put them out and like realize oh I can do this without any of that stuff the label does and uh, yeah it's pretty cool like everybody bitches about Spotify and the little that they pay you but at the same time, it makes it really easy to put music out and get it to people to enjoy it. And that's really what it's about. So yeah, I've made, I made this Christmas album like that. And before that, Tyler and I made the uh, Songs of the Sunrise Fox album. And that one just like got really great numbers on streaming and I've sold a bunch of them. So thank you guys for supporting. It's been really cool. So figured we had to play the song from the viral video. I saw you on Kelly Clarkson. Oh, yeah. I was awkward on Ke Kelly Clarkson, that's you, for sure. You, you actually did really well. You, <laughs> you were not that awkward. I've been awkwardly repeated on A&E lately, people have been telling me. I've never seen that clip. I'd like to. She gave you like 30 seconds. Yeah. You did really well, considering. And now you can also watch my TEDx talk, which is up on YouTube. My wife helped me wrote it, write it, wrote it. <laughs> that should actually be part of the joke. She's much smarter than me, so. If only she was here to hear that. Someone will tell her and... Uh... Yeah, here's the tune from that video. It's called Aesop Mountain.
I think that's the first time we played that on stage, honestly. I don't think we've ever played it. <laughs> first time I've played it since we recorded it. Can I go now? Yeah, now we're going to get Andy Reiner back out here, the man of many hats. Whoa, that's a good one. All right, you jingle friend over there, let's go. Andy was my best buddy during the pandemic because he lived nearby and we both really liked to backcountry ski, so pretty much did that two or three times a week. And a good way to kill the days. <laughs> he was actually the first person I told I was having a kid because I, uh, I was like, hey, Andy, I'm having a kid. Please don't let me die today. That's a lot of trust. And he is a very responsible backcountry guide, unlike me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was fun. Good old Ski Road, Allen's Park. Boulder County skiing. Some good stuff out there. Well, there's a, there's a few banjo fiddle duets on the album with my good buddy Bobby Britt from Town Mountain. So we're going to try those. We're going to do Hark the Herald here. To your left ear while you play the fiddle. It's in your ear. It's ridiculously if you distracting. Could get it to go in time, that would be pretty great. Hold on, I got another hat. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Yeah, Joy made this one and I left it on a snowcat ski operation in BC once and I was like, please, guys, you have to mail it back. Please, guys, you have to let me do one more run. <laughs> yeah. And uh, here it is. It's back. Thanks, Joy. You guys are a beautiful couple, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Some of y'all are probably fans of Big Richard, I'm sure, too. So. All right. That's the right answer. Okay. I think I'm ready for this. My left ear is feeling much more... Yeah, Andy. Yeah, Andy. Andy's Unite. There's too many Andys in the bluegrass scene. I don't know what it is. Hey, Andy. Hey, we're going to get the band back out here. Hey, band, where are you at? I wanted to also mention this banjo right here was made in Boulder, Colorado. It's an ohm. I love this thing. If you guys haven't been over there to try a bunch of banjos, it's very fun and cool. Out in East Boulder. Did the band hear us summon them or not? I don't know. No. Hey, band. I don't know where they are. Still not here. Travis Albright on the tambourine. Come on, Travis. I'm trying to make him play. There it is.
Dang, Andy, you got some beatbox skills. Well, you didn't bring the drummer. Andy Reiner, Andy Reiner. I need a haircut. Is there more band? What are you guys doing back there? Talking about trucking songs and listening to holiday music. <laughs> they see me beatboxing on the little TV and they're like, oh, they're still going on this. Right, they're like, let's, let's not go up yet. Let's make Andy keep going. <laughs> oh, it's the Joy band. was like, I'm definitely not going up yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make Andy keep doing this. I thought you were going to break it down. <laughs> wow. Do you see all these people, though? <laughs> You're so friendly looking. <laughs> you missed Andy's beatbox session. I, I did hear that. <laughs> I did hear that. Oh, I made that hat. Yeah. <laughs> they know. You told a whole story about it. <laughs> hey, let's get Joy to sing. What do you think? Christmas 
day. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'll just take a moment to thank this gnome here for <laughs> being gnomey. Gnomes bring me great inspiration. And I hope they do his feet are on backwards. <laughs> that, that looks like it hurts. There was a period during the pandemic where Andy was like, gnome core. I'm going to make gnome core happen on TikTok. And you made all these gnome videos. Three people noticed. You bought so many gnomes. We have gnome bullshit everywhere. <laughs> I was following that and I really enjoyed it. It was good. <laughs> The, the thing about the gnomes is you ask them for music and they they give it to you. And it's very very generous of them. I appreciate it. Thank you, gnomes, wherever you are. I wish I could there. remember who made that gnome, but I got it at a Wibby Brewing holiday market. Mm. They're really fun if you guys could ever go to one. Sell some good stuff. All right, here's another song we've never played. This one I wrote uh, for Christmas last year when there was no <laughs> snow at some point. Today, it's pretty nice outside. There's some snow on the ground. But looking at the forecast, there's not much snow coming up. Are we going to have a white Christmas? What do you guys think? Yeah. I hope so. I'd be stoked with like just a couple more ski runs opening up. So yeah, nice. we need some terrain. Yeah. Just remember, the stoke is real. This one's about wanting some snow for Christmas, but you don't really don't need it to have a good time. No 
snow at all Cause we got love to lift us We got love to lift us We got love to lift us song, Andy. That needs to go on the next holiday album. That'll be on High Country Holiday 2. Still High Country Holiday. Still, <laughs> still High. Still High, Still Country. I don't think you have a choice. That's it. It's, it's done. Do you need cello on the album? <laughs> this one will have the owl on the front, but his eyes will be really bloodshot. <laughs> that one yet so you have to buy this one tonight on vinyl and cd seriously the album is worth buying just for the beautiful artwork by steve johansson from down in montrose it's a lovely solstice owl yeah we'll go downstairs i'll be signing some of those if anybody wants to buy one makes a lovely christmas gift i have a golden sharpie in my pocket looks very lovely Let's do one, another one from the album that these two did an incredible string arrangement on, Green Sleeves.
don't change your hats. Yeah, we thought it might be funny if Andy was the Scrooge tonight. And he was just like, ah, ah. <laughs> That's too fun. Having too much fun to be, to be the Scrooge. But I could sing you a Hanukkah song. Let's do that. Um, so I'm going to read you the translation because I'm going to sing in Hebrew. So this, yeah, some of you have spun the dreidels. That's that top you spin. You could win money or kilt gold. Yeah, some of you are lucky. Win we live in Blackhawks, so people gamble all the time in our neighborhood. But um, this song, the, the words mean dreidel. Spin, spin, spin. Hanukkah is a great holiday. A holiday of happiness it is. A great miracle happened. Cheers. Achaim. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, uh. time for a couple more quick ones. Here's one I've always loved and I've always thought it had a Christmassy vibe. So uh, you guys might recognize it from this big band, but let's, let's give it a shot here. I'm gonna make it about the lovely poinsettias on the stage though. That is what they are, right? Man, they did a lovely job decorating the stage tonight. I brought a big box of decorations from my house, but the, the decorations closet here at E-Town just, well, I'm not allowed to say trumped it, but... Superseded. <laughs> Superseded, that's right. Oh, I said it anyways. Oh. <laughs> All right, here's a fun one. One, two...
whole slice of melon and pretend that you still love me. Carve out your pumpkin and rely on your destiny. Get in your car and cruise the land of the brave and free. Don't forget to understand exactly what you put on that tree. Florists when they tell you the poinsettias are free Take it Andy Songs always felt Christmassy to me. I don't know. All right, guys, we're gonna do one more song. We're out of time. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thanks to thanks to Travis at the uh, Future Arts Foundation for setting this up, and E Town for having us. Gonna do a real quick New Year's song here. It's not quite New Year's yet, but it's on the album. It's the last tune. We'll see you guys downstairs if you want to get one. We'll be signing them.
year. Feliz Navidad. Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and happy Kwanzaa. Colonel Andy Thorne, everybody. Tyler Grant over there on the guitar, Dr. Joy Adams, Andy Reiner, Taylor Shuck. I just hired him two days ago. Thank you, Taylor. Appreciate you guys. That's Andy Thorne. Give it up. <laughs>